Hello, Times Crossword, let's go. Economic collapse, wiping out Republican, money. No. Hardy companion eschewing starter, eats fresh tuna, plainly cooked. Gosh, I wonder if this is au naturel. So, Hardy Companion will be Laurel, Laurel and Hardy. Eschewing its starter without its initial L gives you Aurel. Eats fresh tuna. Fresh is the anagram indicator for tuna, which gives you Natu. So, Natu inside Aurel is au naturel, which means plainly cooked. Dance, tango in New Orleans after church. I think this is going to be Charleston. So Charleston is a dance. Tango is T in the NATO phonetic alphabet. In New Orleans, new is the anagram indicator for Orleans after church. CH is the abbreviation for church. So after CH, you have an anagram of Orleans containing T for tango. Let's go back to one. Economic collapse, crash. Wiping out R for Republican leaves cash, which is money. Both sides in Salisbury, that would be S and Y, getting agreement, nod, for clerical gathering, synod. a synod is a clerical gathering. Character synonymous with a fan, Lady Windermere's fan, is a book, I think, of drama. Yeah, Lady Windermere will be... I, I've no idea. I recognise that Lady Windermere's fan is an expression which comes from literature, and I'm not sure entirely how that works in terms of drama and fan. Now, ordering Lancelot, a Kiwi English or Australian novel. Well, A Town Called Alice is a book. That doesn't work. I wonder if it's A Town Something Alice. Ordering Lancelot, that looks like an anagram indicator for Lancelot. A Kiwi English, a town like Alice, I think that works. So the anagram is of Lancelot, A, Kiwi, and E for English, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 14 in the answer. I'm not going to do a letter by letter check. We'll see if these letters are corroborated. Yours truly, absorbing large, decisive blow. Gosh, large is likely to be L, the abbreviation, and yours truly is usually a reference to oneself. Nope, not getting that. Waterproof, oil skin. Paint is oil. And layer is skin. Play part, killing Romeo in a dazed state. No. Spouse, Catherine, who survived grappling with Stanley occasionally. Wow. Stanley occasionally could be every other letter of Stanley. So S-A-L-Y or T-N-E. Yeah, I think it's T-N-E, because that's in the middle of partner. So partner is spouse. Catherine is Catherine Parr, one of Henry VIII's wives. And the wife, she is the wife who survived, as opposed to being killed or divorced. Grappling with or containing every other letter of Stanley. Yours truly. Absorbing large... Decisive blow. No. 
expert son training American spies on board. I think this is specialist. So a specialist is an expert. Son is abbreviated to S. Training is PE, physical education. American spies are the CIA on record on list. Starts to throw out some household rubbish. Nice straightforward clue. The initial letters or starts of throw out some household are T, O, S and H. And Tosh means rubbish. Knobs. Very loud. Turned up drunk outside. This is Toffs. So Toffs are knobs as in aristocrats. Very loud is FF, the musical abbreviation for Fortissimo. Turned up drunk, turned up sot outside. Meddling when abandoning short term in conclusion. Well, I think this is inference, which means conclusion, but why? Meddling interference. When abandoning short term, short term will term when it's short is missing its last letter, which gives you T-E-R. So interference missing T-E-R leaves inference. George. George is an automatic pilot in an aircraft. Let's see if this is the one intended. Being one involved in gun conspiracy. Okay, an automatic is a type of gun, so a gun conspiracy could be an automatic plot, and one involved in that will be the letter I involved in it, being placed in the middle of plot. Roughly stuffing tree in crater. Yeah, this is caldera. So roughly is CA, short for circa, Latin for a for about or roughly, and stuffing, as in including, older, which is a type of tree, and then a caldera is a crater in a volcano, I think. With which to pick up, that looks like antenna, A northern, A N, male voice on the radio. On the radio is a way of indicating that the spelling of the word is different to how it sounds. So the male voice is tenor, T-E-N-O-R, which sounds the same as T-E-N-N-A. Er, uh, Delilah's gone mad. Well, gone mad looks like an anagram indicator. We're looking for 10 letters. And Er, uh, Delilah's got 10 letters. Kicked up a terrible stink. Yeah, I think this is raised hell. And again, we'll see if the letters are corroborated. I'm not going through each individual letter. York Stadium. No. Most tasteless supporter backing celebratory gathering. No. Might one scoff at this during pillow talk? Aha, uh -huh. yeah, I think this is breakfast in bed. So, I think the whole thing is a definition. One could scoff breakfast in bed during pillow talk. So this would will be an and lit clue, so... I can read it once as the definition and once as the word play. Or I think it's just a misleading definition. I think you can, as it as you read it, you think scoff means to ridicule, but in fact it means to eat. Most tasteless, I think naffest, supporter, backing is fan backing, and then a fest is a celebratory gathering. Had meal, eight, following end of office, E, work in the US. Yes, this is elaborate or elaborate. Had meal is eight, 
following end of office E, work in the US, well, in the US, labour is spelt O-R rather than O-U-R in the UK, and elaborate means fancy. Party, yeah, this is Beano, which means a party. Head is Bean, Bean is slang for head, and the last seen in Truro is the last letter of Truro, the O. Oh no, this doesn't look good for 22 down, blank O, blank L, not very helpful letters. York, stadium. Yes, this is bowl. So, York is a cricketing term. If you bowl a Yorker, the ball bounces so that it just goes under the batter's bat. And... I know of that expression as bowling a Yorker, so I'm imagining that York is is associated with that as the type of bowl, and a bowl can also be a stadium, as in the Hollywood Bowl. Okay, so fairly rapid progress, 11 minutes down. Writer's Hell. Yeah, this is Dickens. So Dickens is Charles Dickens, the writer. Hell is D-I-S, nursing broken neck. Broken is the anagram indicator for neck. So why is D-I-S hell? I'm not sure. I know it is. It's a common term you, which you come across in crosswords. But why is dis hell? Not totally sure. Leave a note below or comment below if you do know. Scorn, disdain. And loudly traduce, yeah, to dis is to disrespect or to, which, which means traduce, and Scandinavian is a Dane. So loudly is another one of these indicators like on the radio, which indicates that a word is spelled differently to how it sounds. So traduce is dis, possibly with double S, and Scandinavian is Dane. Okay, so closing in on the top right. Ooh. Word ending in I. Capital. Head. Regularly censored. Best. Yes, this is Hanoi. So Hanoi is a capital city of Vietnam. Head regularly censored is a way of indicating every other letter of head, which is H and A. And then a best-selling single is a number one. Swish. Could that be chic? Hotel is H in the NATO phonetic alphabet. Taken over by top military board. Well, CIC is commander in chief. Fruit. Clementine. Does the word play work? Left is L in bond in cement. At home is in by European by E, the abbreviation for European. Fantastic. Just two clues to go. Play is tolerance, as in give, as in the degree of slight bendingness. Part is role. Killing Romeo. Romeo is R in the NATO phonetic alphabet, so role without R is O-L-E. In a day's state in trance. Now, one clue left. Yours truly is the setter. Yes, the setter of this crossword. Absorbing L for large and a settler is a decisive blow. So, every clue solved, every clue explained, no empty squares. Submit. Submit. Hope and pray. No errors. Fantastic. Wow, what a puzzle. That was super fast. Just over 14 minutes. And sometimes when you go really fast, you have this slight fear that you've that you've gone too fast and have made a, a silly error or a non-silly error. But fortunately, that wasn't the case in this puzzle. And what a beautiful puzzle. I love that. I don't have any particular memories of specific clues. I think partly because... 
I was going so fast, but I do have a general overall feeling that it was a good challenge and good fun. So from a snitch perspective, I would say probably down in the 60s or 70s, but great fun nonetheless. So I hope you enjoyed watching that solve. Like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.